We've awarded another televised final table seat to a club WPT member. WPT 500 finished with a bang on party poker and we introduce a new format to the United States, WPT Steps. We've got that and more this week on the WPT. Cindy Foster will be joining us in Las Vegas for the $200,000 Club WPT TV Challenge final table. Guaranteed at least $10,000 for making it to the final table, but she's playing for the $50,000 first place prize. We still have a couple more seats to fill at this six-handed final table, so if your chance to play your way to Poker Glory broadcasted on TV, head to clubwpt.com. The $1.2 million WPT 500 concluded on Party Poker this week with Dylan Rowe from New Zealand winning the title and just over $180,000 US dollars to go with it. The final table was streamed live with commentary by James Dempsey and Patrick Leonard. You can watch the replay on WPT's Twitch to follow Dylan's journey. Amazing. I mean, wow. I, I, that, that, I think that's probably one of the best performances I've seen on any of the streams we've had. I think he played fantastic. He made every decision correct. You know, free bets, calls, folds, aggression. It was fantastic. The WPT Showdown series at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida starts April 15th, celebrating 10 years with the World Poker Tour. The $3,500 main event starts April 23rd with a $2 million guaranteed prize pool. 81 events throughout the festival. At least 100 satellite seats are guaranteed. And the final table will be televised, playing down on May 18th at the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas. The return of live poker to the WPT has brought about some changes to the Ublo WPT Player of the Year standings. Brian Altman remains at the top of the leaderboard with 2,900 points. Now, it's been quite a season for the two-time WPT champion, winning the 2020 WPT Lucky Hearts Poker Open for 480000 and he's also scored two third-place finishes as well as a tenth. Altman has a chance to add even more points in May when the final table of the WPT Borgata Winter Poker Open plays out in Las Vegas. He enters the event third in chips when play resumes, and Altman has 100 points locked up no matter where he finishes, but he could earn up to 1,400 points. However, after some recent events, Altman has a few players right on his heels. The UK's Jack Hardcastle sits just behind in second place with 2,200 points. He jumped up in the standings after winning the WPT Montreal Online for 447,000 in January and also took fourth at WPT Venetian just gone in March for 271,000. And for King Lou, who I raved about last week, earning a WPT title and a final table appearance over a two-day span, that helped rocket him up the leaderboard to third place. The full Ublo WPT Player of the Year leaderboard can be found on WPT.com. The World Poker Tour is proud to introduce WPT Steps. This is an opportunity to experience world-class poker as part of the WPT family in a poker room near you. Now, this program is especially designed for the daily grinder to have the opportunity to play and advance in a great WPT Steps platform. Now, weekly, monthly, and biannual championships at your local property and have the opportunity to earn your seat into the WPT Steps National Championship. Now, these are low buy-in events that allow everyone to experience the action of WPT Steps. Currently, We have partner poker rooms and casinos in South Dakota, Ohio, and four locations in Texas. And you can go to WPTsteps.com to get a full list of our partners, and we'll be adding more locations across the United States throughout the year. Now, if you have a place that you think would be a good fit, let us know, and maybe we can bring WPT Steps to you. For more information, just go to WPTsteps.com. 